This is a 1936 Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic. It's rare, it's beautiful, and it's expensive. This gorgeous example is one of only three Type 57 SC Atlantics in existence today. One look at its stunning teardrop shape, impossibly curved fenders, and signature riveted spines, and you can start to see why this is such a special and coveted car. But it's not just a pretty face. Underhood is a supercharged power plant producing around 200 horsepower. While that may not sound like much, especially compared to modern day Bugattis like the Veyron Supersport with its 1200 horsepower W16 engine, this was a massive horsepower figure for 1936. Its 125 mile per hour top speed was staggering for the time. As a matter of fact, many people consider the Type 57 SC Atlantic to be the first supercar ever produced. We won't argue with that. But perhaps the most heart-stopping fact about this particular car is its price tag. That's because this is the most expensive car on Earth. By a lot. When this car exchanged owners last May, it sold for a record-breaking 30 to 40 million dollars. Think about that for a second. That would buy you 23 Bugatti Veyrons, or 139 Ferrari 458s, or, if you're feeling economical, 2,500 Honda Civics. But of course, a car like the Type 57 SC is not about value, and if you can afford it, you can probably afford to buy whatever else you could ever want. So what is it like to behold $40 million of pure automotive perfection? We stopped by the car's new home, the Mullen Automotive Museum in Oxnard, California, to make a visit and speak with the museum's curator, Andrew Riley. So this is the 1936 Bugatti Atlantique Type 57 SC. It was the first production car and arguably Jean Bugatti's masterpiece. The 57S was a very advanced chassis in 1936. It was lowered to allow for the coachwork to be very low and sleek and light. It was mated with Bugatti's most powerful straight eight dual overhead cam, supercharged engine. Well, let's talk about the uh, kind of the elephant in the room, uh, which is this exoskeleton, this riveted spine, which runs the length of the car and the pontoon fenders. And why, 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 why is that like that? Well, there's a lot of ideas as to why <laughs> they ultimately uh, chose this design. It's the dominant feature, I would say, uh, of the car. And it's been speculated that the, the reason for this riveted spine was because of its prototype, the so-called uh, Aeroleaf uh, Electron Coupe. And that car purportedly had been made of electron magnesium, a material that was uh, virtually impossible to weld. Because it would catch on fire. Because it would catch on fire. <laughs> and, uh, right. And, and so this was a uh, method of attachment that was adopted from the aviation industry. Uh, and what's interesting about the styling of this car is that it celebrates the way in which it is put together. Now, in reality, the production cars were all aluminum cars, and so there was technically no need for them to do that. But I, so I think it was more a design feature that they felt was uh, provocative. Now, now, this is also an extremely, exceedingly rare car. Right. Um, how many uh, Type 57 SC Atlantiques are there? Well. That we know of, there are three. Some people say that there was a fourth lost before the war in France. But this is the first production car. Ralph Lauren has the last production car. And then there's a second car, which was known to have been produced, which uh, had a collision with a train and has recently been reconstructed. In fact, it was shown at Pebble Beach this year. So, you know, again, uh, most expensive, and as we're saying, the most special car in the world. But w what makes this particular vehicle more special, uh, more coveted, let's say, than, than anything else? Well, I think it's interesting to look at this car and consider that this was a car that was radical when it was built in 1936, and here, 74 years later, is still just as radical. Absolutely. Nobody uh, walks by this car and doesn't have a reaction. It's, it's very provocative. <laughs> Absolutely. Some people, uh, some people love it, some people hate it. I have to tell you, I just adore it.